Reagan Smith is about to enter her senior year of high school and the Minnesota native is already one of the top backstrokers in the world at just 17 years of age. She was on a training camp with her teammates from Riptide Swim Team in Fort Myers as she was preparing for the World Championships. Earlier this summer, Smith broke her own world junior record in the 100 back with a 58.45 in long course at a low-key meet in Indianapolis. That was awesome. I felt really, really good and I compared it a lot to my swim in Bloomington where I won a best time by 100 there. And I just remember that race at the councilman meet, it felt so much like smoother and just almost like easier, which is super weird because like we're still in intense training. So it was just, it was really awesome to be able to go another best time like that. And I don't know, I felt really good about it. That time put her second in the world for 2019, which isn't bad for an in-season swim. So was that near world record expected? No, I did not think I could go 58-4. I was hoping to be like low 59s or high 58s like I was in Bloomington. So when I won a best time in prelims especially, I was like, what the heck? Like, like works for me, but yeah, it was a surprise. Smith will not be swimming the 100 back at Worlds. She only qualified to swim the 200 back at Worlds, so she wanted to get a chance to swim more freestyle in Indy because she doesn't know if she will have that opportunity at Nationals after Worlds. Smith is going on her second trip to the World Championships that start this week in Guangzhou, South Korea. I'm really excited that I get to go for a second time. It feels good going, like traveling to a big Team USA meet, already kind of knowing what's going to go on. It's nice walking into it not feeling like as much of a rookie. I feel a lot more comfortable and so I'm like, I'm a lot more excited, like revved up and ready to go. Whereas the first year I was like excited in like an anxious, nervous way, like I didn't know what to expect. So. In 2017, she made her debut at just 15 years old with an 8th place finish in the 200 back at Worlds. It was the result of huge improvements that saw her jump from a semi-finalist at the 2016 trials to making the team in the 2017 World Trials. So how was it going from 33rd place in 2016 to 2nd in 2017 and on your first international team? It was really cool. I didn't expect it at all. And even after I made it, I still didn't really believe it. And since I was so young, I remember almost being like, I'm scared, like, I don't want to make it. Like, no, that's like really scary and intimidating, which like, obviously, like, I obviously wanted to make it, but it like, I was like so scared of like the challenge of like going to that meet that, I don't know, it's funny to think about it. I remember being at my training trip two years ago, um, getting ready for world champ trials, and there were people who were thinking like, oh, maybe I can make the world team. And I just remember being like, oh my God, not in a million years, like that would never happen. And then it did. And I don't know, ever since then, it's just kind of been this like big blurry ride where I've just, you know, been having a really, really great few years and it's just been kind of crazy and I never, yeah, I never expected it. Smith has been a mainstay in the U.S. national team the last couple years. Next year in the fall of 2020, she'll be a freshman at Stanford, but before she goes to Palo Alto, she'll have an opportunity to make the 2020 Olympic team. We still have to get through Worlds first, but the Olympic trials are in the back of Smith's mind. And I know that it's something that Mike, you know, is talking to me. He's starting to talk to me a little bit about, but I haven't thought about it a bunch. Um, it's something that he and my dad like to discuss because my dad's really involved too, and that's awesome. So the three of us are going to probably start working on things um, probably after this season's over to start thinking about, you know, this next year. Smith has been to trials once, so she has that experience under her belt. I'm really glad that I just know what it's like because I feel like you really don't know what to expect when you walk in there for the first time and I was just kind of like shell-shocked. So at least I know that when I walk in there in 2020 it's going to be crazy and it's going to be like really intense and you know loud and crowded and so I'm just glad that I have like okay I know more so what to expect when I walk into it. Now that she is a favorite to make the Olympic team next year, what exactly would it mean to become an Olympian in 2020? That would be really cool. I mean, it's been my dream for forever. So if I were to, you know, be able to do that, that would be awesome. But yeah, I mean, so, so far away. So yeah, yeah, I got to stay focused on this summer first. She has had a really good year of training and racing. So what exactly should we expect from Reagan of the 2019 Worlds? You know, hopefully a higher finish than I placed at the first Worlds. And, you know, last summer being able to get a bronze at Pampax was really awesome. And I'm hoping to maybe, you know, repeat that with a medal this summer. That would be really awesome. Um, and, you know, I hope I can do it. I hope so. There's not yet, but we have a lot of kids who are really dropping time kind of rapidly and they're younger and they're coming up really quick. So if I could have a teammate, that'd be awesome. I think it's definitely possible.